So we're going to talk about pups, um, cutting, uh, where pups are going to grow, how to replant pups, all of that. So we're just going to start off with this and I'll give a few other examples. Um, now this is, I don't want to say all cactus, but this will 100% work with all Trichoceros and plenty of other columnar cactus. Um, now, for example, this one here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pups. Um, every single one of those, I can turn into a whole new plant. Uh, now, because of the way this one is growing, these are called, I think, basal pups. Um, uh, and they come from usually at the base of the plant, uh, like, like this one over here that's come from the base. Um, now, if I wanted to plant all these up into their own pots, I'd have to probably unpot this one, get rid of the soil, and then probably go from underneath to cut them all out. Or I could wait for them to get bigger and then cut them that way. That's if you don't mind having stumps, um, meaning like this. That's a, that'll be a stump, or like that there. Um, yeah, so if I were to cut one of these off and put it into a whole new pot, it wouldn't be a separate species from this one. That would then be called a clone. So um, if I were to sell one of these or give to one of these to someone else, it would be, it would be a clone of this plant. Um, that's why some people will say... Uh, like Shark's Blue or um, any specific clones like CSD or, uh, yeah. So you've got the genus, which, uh, for example, um, I'll just go Scopula cola. This one isn't Scop, but it's, I'm pretty sure it's got Scopula cola bred into it. But you'll have um, Trichoceros, the genus, uh, Scopula cola, the species, and if this was a clone, uh, let's just say it was Shark's Blue. Oh, no, that doesn't work. Um, but then you have the cultivar after that, which is, in this instance, a, a clone names. Um, but we'll go back onto pups. So I could cut each one of those off and put it into a new pot and grow it. But the problem is, is if I put these into a pot and then water it, it immediately and water it constantly, there is a chance it could rot. Um, I would want to cut them off, let them sit out for a bit uh, to dry. Not uh, If it's raining, don't have them outside and don't have them in full sun either, but eventually they will root. Um, now, and I'll show you some examples of that as well. Now I can also cut this as well. I can cut that down there, um, take that out and root that. And then I will be left with only two pups instead of three and I'll have the main stem, the main column. Um, now what will happen there is uh, I cut that off, the pup's gone, that's fine, it's done. But if I wanted to, for example, this specific one, if I wanted to cut that off there and grow that, I can. I'd have to root the top bit and then the bottom bit will be left as a stump like this one. Um, that's been cut there, uh, and then a pup will go off. So at the moment, I've only got one pup, but sometimes it'll pup, it'll pup from all these aerials. These these spots right here are called aerials, and the pups will come from there, or they will come from beneath, um, b uh, below the uh, soil line. Um, but yeah, so this one's pupped off one there. Um, but they can do many more than just one. Let's find an example. Um, this one, same thing. That's got one big one there, and it's got another smaller pup coming out of there. Um, so you can cut it anywhere you want. I could cut just the very tip off, and it would probably pop out out of anywhere there, but I can also choose to pop out out of any of these uh, aerials. Um, it could also pop out from the bottom if it wanted. Um, 
some species are more prone to pupping uh, for example this one here this boltwood um, it's grown all this time without pupping up until now it now has a small pup right at the base the reason for that i have no idea it just it's chosen to do that it might be some specific environmental factors um, that it wanted to do it but it's done it but all the years previously it didn't pup whereas you have species like this one here um, even at the young age they love to just pup out like there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven probably over eleven pups there um, same as this one that's only got two um, yeah so some species will want to pup at younger ages some species uh, won't pup at all um, and, and you don't have to cut them for them to pup this one has three pups I haven't cut it at all it just it wants to pup um, that could also be for example this one is leaning over so maybe it wants to do the pups oh sorry there's four pups in there maybe it wants to do that because it's leaning over um, again this one wasn't cut but it wants to pup uh, this one was cut and there are no pups on it yet and that's fine um, uh, you just have to wait and so eventually there'll be a pup that'll come out of there or there or there and you just have to wait if you cut in winter you're most likely not going to get anything to come up all the way up until spring if you cut in spring you'll probably get a pup coming up within a month maybe two maybe three months it all depends on the plant um, same as this one I've cut that one down um, and then I've got uh, what three pups coming out there now I think when you want to cut is you want to try and cut uh, diagonal um, because if you cut straight across it'll rot just like these ones so it's just been recently been raining and this one's all soft in the center um, it's actually uh, yeah no it's, it's hard down there but uh, that's the reason why it's got black on the top same as that one is because um, I didn't cut it enough on a slant and then it will start rotting and it'll, it'll rot all the way down until you cut it again so I had to cut this one and that one a couple couple more actually no I didn't it just rotted um, and yeah but you probably want to cut these on a slant if you know you're gonna get rain you can get away with it if it's just a uh, a flat cut on top like uh, like that one. that one's pretty flat but I've never had a single issue with that um, it's just usually with the fresh cuts when they're cut flat and then they dip in they sink in um, and then the water sits there so you don't want that um, so yeah you can cut it wherever you want uh, and you'll get pups coming up every single one of those pups you can root um, so so if I cut that there and took that off I would call that a cutting but if it was a pup like uh, like those two down there if I cut those off I would call them pups but I suppose they're, they're also called cuttings um, now if I were to do those cuttings like this one here I never watered this this was undercover and it wouldn't get any rain and then recently I saw some roots so then I brought it back out here and I allowed it to get some rain because there are roots under here So what you want to do is when this cutting is fresh you can let it just sit on a bench um, under cover and or even inside where there's plenty of airflow for this area where it's freshly cut let that dry up and you can't see well because there's a lot of dirt but that's calloused it's calloused over um, it's not wet anymore um, like like fleshy wet and then when it, once it's dry place it onto just some dry medium this is obviously wet because it's rained but um usually you want it to be dry uh, and then place it on here and eventually there'll be roots growing through um, once you have once you know that and you can just keep picking it up and, ha and checking it out and looking once you know there's roots 
don't pick it up again. Um, like I have with this one, I've probably broken off a couple of roots because I've disturbed it, but it doesn't doesn't bother me too much. Um, yeah, once you know there's roots, don't pick it up because you want it to root in as quickly as possible, and you can also start uh, lightly watering it, um, and then eventually you will feel it's quite solid, um, and it won't lift up. Uh, and then you should definitely not lift it up and just you can probably fertilize it and water it normally Just like these cuts here. I've got this one and this one has already started pupping um, Before it's even got any roots although that is a root there on the side But it's already pushed out two pups before it's pushed out roots um, So they can do that too um, that one's, Yeah, that one's got some roots so I'm trying to see I can lift it up a little bit but the roots want to stay there same as that one you can see a root at the bottom there um, uh, no roots on that one but there is a pup on the top so that's how to do cuttings um, if if you so here's a pup there's the main column if I were to cut that there and take that off, well then I'm gonna get pups coming off on off of here too. But then you're gonna be left with a uh, a cut there, like um like that. You'll be left with a cut. Uh, but if you just want the sil uh, single column, well then you want to be cutting it down there off of here. Um, and then you'll be left with a single column. Um, I think that's the basics, really. So, yeah, some sometimes plants will pup heaps. Like that's got four in there. Um, again, this one's got an absurd amount of pups. And that's just that specific species that likes to do that. Um... I could even cut these small seedlings. I could cut that one in half, and then that'll pop off. Uh, th but there would be a higher chance of it rotting because of how small it is. This size, I'd have a lot more success. Like it, it's, I, I really doubt I could kill this by cutting it. Um, but I would be a little bit worried of killing that one. Um, but like, yeah, a lot of these I could cut them in half, take that off, root the tiny little top, and the bottom would. Um, also pop off tiny little pups uh, like this one a bug has eaten the top there and then it's put off there's two pups there one on top of the other um, yeah so these cactus are super resilient and the only thing you have to look out for when you are cutting pups is rotting so just don't let them have too much water they're better, they're, it's better to be too dry than too wet. Um, yep.